I just found a weird mod. It says one of the most notable features of chaos is here is the ex unexpected consequences that certain actions will have. For example, if you smelt iron, you will find yourself transported to the nether. Yeah. As it also says, this adds a new level of challenge to the game and will keep you on your toes as you navigate this chaotic world. I yes, it will. I don't know anything more about this mod. Let's just get into it and try and beat Minecraft with it. If you do enjoy the video, be sure to leave a like, subscribe if you're new, and let's get into this. Alright, we are in the world. Sorry, but there's no gravity on this planet, so you're gonna have to deal with that. Hehehehe, <laughs> I don't know what... Oh. Uh, okay, I mean, I have... Oh, hunger. About the slow falling and jump... You know what? That's fine. I, I can live with that. That is totally fine. Okay. What? Emotional damage. Okay. Right. Well, what happens if I try a birch lock then? Okay. Same. Emotional damage. Okay. So I can't pick up items. So I guess I need a village then to find wood, maybe potentially. Or what? Emotional damage. I didn't do anything. Basically, any items you try and pick up is impossible to pick up. Got it. Right. Watch this. Watch this. Just, just keep watching this. It's gonna be brilliant. Okay. Wait. Nothing happened. Okay. Well. Oh! Emotional damage! I tried picking up the creeper head because I thought, you know what, that's cool. But no. Not cool. But I could pick up the locks though. Ooh, wait a minute. Hmm. Okay. Okay, fine. I think. So I just have to do this fast. Okay. New plan. I am going to try and find a village because apparently I can't craft pl planks into, well, logs into planks that I need tools. How the site says smelting iron teleports you to the nether. How do I even get to the point <laughs> of smelting iron with this? And all I see is birch and birch and birch. Huh. Does that mean? Okay. Okay, food at least is... Okay, right. So even eating is out of the question. Okay, we're in the plains biome. Now I just need a village to appear. Please. Good thing I didn't try this in hardcore mode. Okay, I do see a savanna. That too could potentially have a village. Because I'm out of plains, so I really hope it does. I really want to eat, but... I know if I do, most likely I'm dead. Well, that hope was short-lived. I really want to go caving, but I need to... <laughs> Jungle? Okay, well, I need to eat. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna... Emotional damage. That was random. I'm gonna eat here. Yep. Okay. Nothing happened, right? Okay, I ate again. That time it was fine. Like if I can at least find some sort of pattern, then it wouldn't be half bad. Sun is about to go down though. Emotional damage. What? Emotional damage. Okay, yep, yeah, this is pure chaos. I really don't want to be on the ground because that seems to be when explosions are happening. Yes, village. Okay, I can at least set my spawn. I can set my spawn. Wait, is that gonna take me to the end or something stupid? Okay, correction, I'll try and set my spawn. Uh-huh. <laughs> and then I suppose... Ooh, ruin portal as well. I might be able to get tools in that. But something tells me opening a chest is probably going to... You know, spawn the wither or something weird. Okay, wait, what's gonna happen when I open a door? Okay, we're good. Please let me sleep. Okay. What the emotional damage? 
I didn't even get to sleep. I didn't even get to. Oh, I'm back. The sun is rising. And that's all the stuff. Can I at least set my spawn? I should be able to do that just by right clicking, right? Okay, get out. Respawn point set. Okay, good, good, good. Get out, get out, get out. That means I will always spawn in. Right. Get out. Get out. Okay. Okay, I need I really need to get rid of this door. I don't want to right click this and then die again. Okay, we're good. Okay, well, items are unrecoverable. Uh let's try and find a chest. Aha. Uh chest -huh. located. Okay, food and empty map. That's really what I needed. Okay, there's a skeleton there. I'm gonna try and Okay, I actually didn't die from that. Kind of surprising. I'm um, gonna check out this room portal now. Oh, uh, don't pick up the run flesh. Can I eat without... Wait, I have a theory. I have a theory. If I eat while floating, then maybe it won't spawn anything underneath me. Okay, maybe that theory is true. Okay, well, got a chest here. How... how... Stop saying that! How am I supposed to do anything? If I can't get... I can't get... Emotional damage. Okay, I th think I've cracked the code. Okay, I, I need to test this. Three, get over here. If I pick up items while... If I do the actions that normally sports a creeper while floating, it seems that then it doesn't trigger the event. So if I just do that... Um, okay, I'm gonna test this now. I'm gonna stand here and eat. My theory is not correct, apparently. Testing. Aha! Okay, and if I'm floating down... And... Yes! Yes, I did it! I have to do things floating, I think. So while I'm floating... Nope! Oh, no. I can't think of other things to try. Maybe sneaking? Maybe sneaking does something? But I can't sneak while crafting though. Okay, well, I can get wood by sneaking. So I assume I can get, then get cobblestone by sneaking as well, but... I need to fall very high, or from a very high place in order to be able to craft all this wood. Because I need sticks and a crafting table. Okay, hold on. We might be getting somewhere. I'm this. Okay, quickly act fast. Okay, planks are secured. Go back up. Quick craft is going to be key. Okay, I have a crafting table. I actually have a cra wait, I actually have a crafting table. This is the first I've got. Okay, I need to eat, so I'm gonna... Right, we're good. 18 minutes. It's taken me 18 minutes to get a crafting table. Okay, now I need sticks. No! Okay, I did do one thing, though, that I... Thing could explain something. I tried crafting multiple. Okay, hold on, hold on. Okay, sneaking. Sneaking. Okay, I can pick up things when I'm sneaking. Ooh, my sticks. Yes! Okay, building blocks are good. You know what, let me just pick this up just so that I don't accidentally pick it up and then spawn something and then I get killed. Okay, good. How do I make a pickaxe then? Right. Okay, we're good. Okay. Pickaxe. Huh. I'm good. I actually have a pickaxe. Yeah, boy, he has a pickaxe. No. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Well, how did that happen then? Please tell me my pickaxe is still there. Yes, it is. Don't know why that creeper spawned, but I'm going to try and head over here now. Maybe if I actually cause it to spawn. Ooh, wait, if I could make a chest, mm, I could get a creeper to spawn and I could, I could just get a ton of cobblestone things. Right, I need a chest. Okay. Don't shift click things in, because I have a feeling that's when th bad things happen. Right, okay, we're good, okay. I need a creeper to spawn over there. Creeper. Emotional damage! Didn't quite blow up the place that I wanted it to. 
Oh, I think I'm getting it. Emotional. I get blown up if I pick up stuff that I haven't picked up before. Okay. Right, that makes sense. So, in theory, if I break this... Emotional damage. Emotional. Yep. And that should have dropped coal, which I will die if I pick up. Oh. It all got destroyed. Okay, now things are starting to make a little bit more sense. I get blown up if I pick something up that I haven't picked up before. And that seems to be the main thing. And possibly if I shift click items back and forth in my inventory. So I'm not going to do that either. Okay, now here's the thing. I know cooking iron is going to bring us to the nether. Which we will want to go to the nether at some point. Emotional damage. Emotional damage. I don't actually know what is causing these explosions. I'm a little bit scared. Okay. And my pickaxe and stuff is gone. Huh. Okay. I'm gonna try this again. Okay, I can shift click things into existence. Good. There we go. In total. I will blow up when I craft this furnace. Yep. Emotional damage! But I survived though. Okay, good. I'm gonna put that to my chest. Okay, good. Starting to make a stockpile here. This is good. Right, now I need... Uh, I need iron. Right, I need iron. But I can't get iron with this, so... Oh, I need a... need one more cobblestone. I guess I'm forced to make a stone pickaxe. Nope! Nope! That would have blown up my chest. Didn't think about that. The thing is... The more progression I make, the further I can actually get. Ooh, I think I just said... Nope! Okay, the Master Cobblestone did it. The Master Cobblestone got me killed. <laughs> you can't... It's still there. Okay, I haven't picked up ladders yet, so avoid ladders. Okay, anything else that I can potentially salvage? Nope. Oh, hi. Well, at least it's the normal kind. Make furnace. Okay, I need iron now, which means... Yeah, yeah, I need iron. Iron, maybe? Down here? Potentially? Maybe? Mayhaps? That's copper, not iron. I just need iron. Please. Wait. Yes. Just one piece. Yep, that'll kill me. That's fine. That's fine. Because... And go back there. It was in my inventory, so it will have not blown up. And, assuming I can get past these guys, I should be able to pick it up. Oh no, that guy's gonna follow me. Yep, that guy's gonna follow me. I can't lose it. I got the iron though. And everything else, except for my pickaxe. Oh, that is. Okay, got the iron. I'm just gonna go down here, avoid that creeper. Freedom. No, freedom. Freedom, 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 freedom. Freedom, okay, good. Right, well, uh, smelting an iron. Don't know if that's the right call, but I do need to get to the nether, which is probably going to be the easiest way for me to get there, right? However, I'm going to place all this in... Well, I don't have a stockpile anymore, do I? I'm going to need an axe, I think. He was still around. He was still around. As I was saying, I'm going to be needing an axe, I think, because... I'll need, sorry, I'll need some sort of weapon. And I'll need to craft this actually over here somewhere. Because as soon as I craft a sword... Ooh, oh, this is cool. This is very cool if it wasn't because I die all the time. <clears throat> okay, uh, axe. Yes, definitely axe, because then... Would... Ow! Oh, it didn't happen... Oh, I see how it is. It didn't happen that time. Okay, got it. Okay, well, I have... Uh, not enough stuff, probably, but let's just... See what happens, I suppose. See what happens while well, that smelts. Okay, well, it smelted. Oh, I'm gonna die, aren't I? Oh, no, no mind. I'm just, okay. Okay, okay, wait, 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 wait. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? I need another, I need another piece of iron. I need another piece of iron to oh, get back. Uh, all right. Ooh, wait, can I pick it up? I don't know if I can. No, no, I couldn't. Apparently, I never picked it up on the other side. This is infuriating. But I can pick it up now. Yay. 
Oh, it did survive, though. It survived. Oh, no. Gravel. That was gravel. I realized too late. <laughs> but it should still be here, because I picked it up. Right? No. That's my iron piece. I have my iron piece. I, I had the iron ore. Okay. Right. Okay. Okay. I'm alive. Emotional damage. But I. Emotional Emotional damage. Emotional damage. Please see. Okay. Right. Okay. And I, I can't dig. Whatsoever, because and my items, of course, are gone that I had previously. I'm actually stuck. I'm actually stuck. Just gonna keep digging. Or not. I didn't spawn the same place as before. Oh, wait, I did. I did. Okay. They apparently despawned. Right. Oh! Oh! We're free! We're free! Okay. Right. N now what? <laughs> now what do I do? Even if I do find the fortress, how do I pick up. I, I'm gonna die when I pick up the blaze rods. Oh! Oh, hello. Okay, well, at least I have that. If I get to the point where I want to get ender pearls, then I can at least barter for them. I don't even know if you can barter. I don't know if that's even possible. I don't know what happens when you barter with a piglet in this. I just know whatever are, is in those chests, I'll die picking it up. That's all I know. I have to admit, traversing the nether is quite nice with this feather falling. Not feather falling. Slowness and uh, slow falling and d d levitation. That took way too long to try and say. Aha! Fortress and place locate. I don't have a weapon. I, I don't have a weapon and I forgot to bring an axe. Oh! What? What did I do? Emotional damage. And it's night time. Oh, I can't sleep. I just couldn't sleep for the first time. Looks like whenever I try and do anything for the first time. Lock me in there, stupid villager! Looks like whenever I try something for the first time, I get blown up. And apparently when you sleep, zombies spawn afterwards. Okay. This is truly chaos. I don't know what's going on. Th Emotional, da Emotional damage! Things are exploding left and right. Emotional damage! Emotional damage! For no apparent reason. I don't know what's going on. Uh, damage. I can't even do my thing. Damage. Seriously? Damage. Right. I have heard enough about emotional damage. I'm going to quit it here. If you wish to see a part two of me truly finishing the game and slaying the ender dragon, from this point forward, then please be sure to leave a like and subscribe and comment down below if you want to see that happening because I need a lot of convincing because it's gonna be a lot of pain and suffering, literal many many deaths for me to get to that point. I need to get ender pearls, I need to get blaze rods, I need to get the blaze powder, that's at least three deaths. Then I actually need to get to the stronghold, I need to dig, I need to get... I estimate around 25 to 50 deaths in total. So if you see, want to see that happening, let me know down below in the comments and by leaving a like and subscribe and enable those notifications so you don't miss out on future videos. And uh, I, I might see you next time. <laughs> this has truly been chaotic. Yeah.